welcome to our instructional series of videos. In this installment, we're going to show you how to install an M.2 NVMe solid state drive in an OWC Express 1M2 enclosure. We've already gathered our materials and are working on a soft static free surface. We're now ready to begin. To remove the bottom cover, we'll first need to remove these two Phillips screws. You can then push the bottom piece towards the flat edge a couple of millimeters. You should then be able to lift the bottom piece up and off and set the top aside. To install an SSD, you will first need to remove this Phillips screw. There is a notch in the connector on the SSD that corresponds to a pin in the slot in the enclosure. Align the two and slide them together. Then, secure the drive with the Phillips screw you removed earlier. For M.2 SSDs of a different form factor, you'll need to move the drive post. First, set the drive roughly into place to determine which hole you'll need to move the post to. Then, using a 5mm socket wrench, unscrew the post from the enclosure and put it in the desired position. You can then proceed to install the drive as described before. Now it's time to put the enclosure back together. There are thermal pads on the other half to facilitate heat transfer from the drive to the enclosure. Do not remove them, including this square piece which looks like paper. This needs to stay in place as well. You'll notice on the bottom half there are two small tabs on the end opposite the USB-C connector. These correspond to a small lip on the inside of the other side. Slide the bottom piece into the top so that the edges sit flush. Push down a little on the enclosure to help ensure the thermal pad is in good contact with the SSD and then secure the two halves together with its two screws. You can now peel the paper backing away from the rubber foot that came with your enclosure and set it into the indentation on the enclosure covering the screws. Your OWC Express 1M2 is now ready to format and use.